thank you everybody. Uh, hi from Istanbul. Uh, more greener, and uh, uh, we feel that uh, the, the the best city in the world. We are uh, recently experiencing serious consequences of climate change, both uh, in our country and in, in Istanbul, also in the world. When we, uh, we were young, it was impossible to walk on the streets without wearing a pullover or coat uh, in November. Uh, now we can even wear T-shirt uh, or shirts uh, like summer. Uh, each year we are witnessing sudden rainfall in summer. This year in August, uh, we lost unfortunately 82 fellow citizens due to floods caused by sudden rainfall in Western Black Sea. Because of the temperature increase in summer months due to climate change, the whole Asian and Mediterranean region in our country experienced wild fires. We could not put out these fires for several weeks. We lost our people, forests, our other living beings and areas. Most Mediterranean countries experienced the same bitter event. Drought and aridity affect Istanbul and Turkey to a more serious extent each day. For the first time this year, we had seen snot or mucilage in the Sea of Marmara due to uh, the increase in sea temperature and uncontrolled west. This problem has some risks that can put an end of life in Marmara. The climate of Istanbul, which our city has had for thousands of years, transitions gradually to that of the Mediterranean. As glaciers melt due to global warming, our world loses its balance. Unknown and unfamiliar microorganisms which have been squeezed within glaciers are released. All these problems show us the importance of the work of local administrations to control global warming. As everyone can agree today, urban action plans focused on climate change in our cities, hosting 68% of the world's population are crucial. This percentage is about 75% in our country. Most important and urgent than anything else is governing our cities with a greener, more just and equitable perspective of the future. When we took power in 2019, we gave a promise to 16 million Istanbulites. We said that Istanbul will be a greener, more just, and creative city. Since the first day, we are taking important steps as part of this vision, and we will continue to do so. We prepared our green solution vision with democratic participation and announced it last week. This vision, which we deem as vitally important, will affect the future of Istanbul. Technical support of C40 Network and Arup led us while we were preparing our vision. Taking this opportunity, I would like to thank the leadership of C40 and the Arup team on behalf of the 16 million Istanbulites. Our target is very clear, to take every step in order to make Istanbul a carbon neutral city resilient to climate crisis by 2050. The city of Istanbul will carry out projects that will be an inspiration for the rest of the world. Thank you. Uh, in my opinion, uh, there are several difficulties uh, in achieving global results on the way uh, to the carbon natural uh, goal. But I think the three major challenges are more 
decisive than uh, any other. First of all, I see the viewpoints of populist political leaders to ignore, trivialize, uh, or postpone the goal of reducing carbon emissions, which is the most vital problem uh, for the future of the whole world as uh, important uh, difficulties. Uh, secondly, uh, I see the lack or weakness uh, of the public will to enable established industrial uh, institutions in developed uh, countries of the world uh, or those that apply aggressive development policies to take swift action for change. And finally, uh, I think funding is crucial for this information to be put into practice. I accept uh, the strategic value in global success of defining the funds uh, on a global scale and sharing them fairly with developing countries, such as the long-term budget defined by EU for a greener, more digital and more resilient Europe goal. This reality that we should all remember is this. Climate change and environmental degradation are existential threats to the entire world. National borders only exist in our minds. However, we cannot draw borders to cities and countries in the physical and real world. Therefore, a fairer financial solidarity and comprehensive technical cooperation at the international level, level are essential for a solution.